Wait one second, making sure I'm recording. I should be recording now. Sorry about that, I'm a bit out of breath. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Jungle Paradise Golden Age episode 516. Hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. The last episode, we revived Vicky from the dead. And we also discovered a old friend that is not in my render distance. There we go. We've discovered an old friend that's come back after 300 episodes. Their name may be Lionel, but this is their third reincarnation as they have died two times already. Ah, uh, it's good to have you back, Daryl. And I've already talked about the... Uh... Wait, come with me, Daryl. I actually wanted to make Daryl a house today, but also do a few other stuff today. And I don't know if I have time to do the other stuff. I do have a few uh, big build projects planned. But it's just planning out where they're going to go. Because I have an idea of actually using the plains biome down south. Yeah, it's the one that we discovered over here. Either that we could use the one over here. That would kind of fit the theme for like a, a idea over here for me. Uh, let's see. Or the one over here. There's, there's like one, two, three. That one's kind of destroyed. One, two... Three, four, four plains biomes. Or if you want to count this as a plains biome over here, five. It's kind of half a plains biome and half a, you know, taiga forest. Eh, we'll see. So we'll either, uh, I want to actually build one over here. So I have a build idea for over here. And I might as well give you a little bit of a hint. It's going to involve cutting down wood. That is the build idea. What do you call it? Idea. Kind of what? It's basic information, that's it. The most basic hint I can give you. It involves cutting down woods and I just hit Daryl in the face with the door there. I do apologize, Daryl. Eh, let's see. I do need to make Daryl a little house. So, one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Six, seven. Yeah, that should work. Should work out pretty good. Uh, a cabinet. A chest. Nah, I have a spare chest. Oh, okay. Chest. Some ladders. Armor stand. One of these. Okay, I think I can make you a house. Okay, Daryl, where do you want to live? And I just slammed the door on you again. I do apologize, Daryl. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've had you here, Daryl. Daryl, you coming? Come on. Can you close the door? Fine, I close the door behind you. Okay, where do you want to live, Daryl, huh? I want to make you in a little mountain a little bit. But then a lot of the mountains around here are kind of dangerous, so I don't really want to shove you in knees. Maybe something here, eh? Hmm. Actually, I have an idea of where I could actually put you. Don't know if it's safe enough, though. So. Eh, let's see. Don't know if it's safe enough. And also... I did remember that I have to put a torch up here because I accidentally took the torch from here and used it somewhere else by accident. Wait, 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 wait. Something's went wrong over here. Check that. Is that okay? I think that looks pretty good. Okay, sorry. We have uh, fairy lights there and I seem to have broken something that I was attached to. I think it was the fence, yeah. Okay, well ignore that. Okay. So, I want to build Daryl a house, but I want to do it in a mountain area. And I have one idea of where I could do it. Because it was supposed to be where I started Dark Fisher Cave, but I never went ahead. And also you can find all of my <laughs> turtles here. Donatello, Michelangelo, Lord Hardshell. Leonardo's over there enjoying some fresh water in the face. Well, this is where I thought I could move Daryl. Let me just 
destroy a lot of the vines around here. Uh, let's see. This could be Daryl's new home. There we go. Destroy that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, I might as well get the wood in here. Go like that. That can go there. That can go there. A little bit outside for a torch. And, yep, that's the house. Nah, I'm not gonna leave it at that. Okay, I want Daryl to feel a little bit at home. And this was supposed to be... Nah, I cannot speak. So I might as well give you a little bit of history. This is where I was supposed to build the artificial cave that I built over there. But I built it over here and I thought, you know, one day I might come up with an idea. I did want to actually make like a elevator. That's what I wanted to do, make either an elevator or a, what do you call it, staircase upwards? I could actually still make the staircase idea instead of, you know, going up the waterfall, I go up the staircase. Uh, let's see, I do want to actually scale that out. You coming with me, Daryl? Yeah? Okay. Okay. I guess I could hide, like, a staircase at the side, uh, make it, you know, non-visible. I think that could work. Okay. Let's me break out the ceiling for you, Daryl. I don't want you hitting your head every time you walk in your house, huh? Oh, here's the home. One block longer. And there we go. What kind of bed colour you want? You want you want it dark green, yeah? Okay. I'll get you dark green. If it's your uh, kind of dark cloak style, huh? Okay. Like that. Make that into a crafting table. Oh yeah, I think at the door I shall have Maybe armor stand here, cabinet there. That goes there. Make dark green bed. There you go, my friend. A little room for you. I think I actually might actually make a little area over here. Or maybe expand this room a little bit for you. Because this area is quite, you know, not dimly lit, but you know, a little bit, you know, how would you describe it? Not, not really looking too suitable for a house, right? Okay, so we'll break all of this away. This is actually the first house I ever made for you. I normally just kept you in my house back in the day, Daryl. Then we'd go on adventures together. Uh, let's see. I feel like the cabinet would fit better over by the bed, huh? There you go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. I think I actually might make you a fence at your door. And that's just to keep you from leaving because, you know, I don't want you to leave your house and end up hitting a dark spot and causing a mob to spawn. I just left it open. You you just hang out in here, okay? This is your... Stay here. There you go. Stay there. Set home. Wait there a second. I need to actually light up this spot up here. Yeah, that works. Either that I could make it non-visible by making it there, so when you're walking around you can't really see it too much. Yeah, I think that works. Hmm. Okay, I do have some glowstone. I do have a pickaxe. There we go. Lighten up the area a little. I was actually supposed to do more glowstone around here, I just realised. I did actually wrap around a few bits of glowstone. There and there. Uh, just making sure everything is lit up. There's a bit up there that I need to lay up. It's a bit dark. There we 
we go. Well, that works. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Hmm. Grab me one vein. There we go. And maybe I might add another uh, light over here. Never actually did anything with this area. I mined out all of this area and made sure I would preserve the original lake here. But I never actually did anything with the lake apart from making it slow into a little river. I feel like I should actually uh, fill a lot of this in with dirt. Because it's been that long and you think dirt would have broke away some of the stone. Or even make some of the stone uh, mossy. There we go. Now I grab another mossy one. And I make another mossy one. There we go. Kind of give the world a little bit of age over here. Uh, let's see. What else could I add? I think I was supposed to make the water go down by one block, right? It was supposed to go like this. like that. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Did I not add the light up there? I'll add the light up there. You know, it's actually quite nice to have a little bit of a thing going on here. It's been a little while since the last thing I did here. Uh, let's see. I think the last thing that I actually did here was, uh, I think decorating the place with uh, vines. No, wait. I think it was this area, yeah. I think it was when I was building that area during a storm. I'm not joking, I did build it during a, one of the worst storms that I've ever had living in this house of mine. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, wait, why did I put a chest next to your bed? So I was going to put the cabinet next to your bed. That was a mistake, I think. There you go. You okay? What are you looking at? Okay. I think I shall give you some blinds for... Yeah. Not actually real windows. You know what, I could... That wouldn't work, right? Yeah, that wouldn't work. I was going to give you a window, but then I thought... It wouldn't really work with the build that we have here. Sadly. Uh, there we go, a door. Maybe I should make it come in. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And some ladders in the corner that don't really go anywhere. And then I make a door over here for some staircases to go up. But I put like a fence gate before it, you know. Stop you from escaping. Ah, uh, let's see. Grab some of that. Don't have sticks. That's why I'm not able to make a fence gate. I was wondering why I don't have sticks. I think I used it all making the, the other thing. Uh, okay, that should work. Add a bit of stone there, right? I think I might add a bit of stone for your slurring, right? 
Don't want you having a dull slur. And it's a little bit laggy there for some reason. I think it's whenever I'm. Nah. I don't understand what that weird lag spike was there. Hmm. Okay, okay. Grab a green shulker. And I will decorate your slur with... Nah. I think dark blue, maybe. Or would it be better if I just placed the blocks in the ground so you so you could actually walk over it? One, two, three, four. Need one more. Can you move a little? There you go, Daryl. Nice little room for you here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. How are you? Hey, how are you today? I'm pretty good. Shake your hand. Tell a story. Flirt. You're the flirty type, why don't you? I don't understand you, my friend. Uh, you know what, I have nine iron. Could buy some friendship. Silly. Yes, you're back to silly. Okay. Well, hopefully you enjoy not having you rob me blind over here. Take my shelter box. Okay. Well, there's uh, the home of our good friend. a little house I think. You can't really move around too much right? You know, not too bad actually. I would really like a little lantern outside this house. I think that would have looked a little bit better. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, well let's get on with what I wanted to do today. You know, instead of making my good friend a house here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so in today's episode, I think we might do a little bit of building somewhere else today. Uh, let's see. Let me head over to GGGGGGGGGGG. How many waypoints do I have just to get to my objective? Okay, also, I do need to do that uh, episode about fishing. I will actually stream it probably. Uh, let's see, a lot of fishing stream. Uh, let's see, I need to get on this boat over here. <laughs> you know what, I'll just go around the other side. A little bit easier to get on this one, there we go. What's in there? What's in? Ah, the sails, I totally forgot about that. Sales are actually pretty good in this game, but uh, for 1.12.2 with the, you know, sale mod that I have that gives the uh, the banners. What's the banner mod? Or is that just normal Minecraft? It's just normal Minecraft. The banners are now uh, aren't really that good. Hmm. 
Yeah, that'll do. Okay. I did want to do a bit of work around here, but then I saw... Hmm. I'm tempted to do a new build out here, right? I built all of this area a little while ago. It's called Voxtown. I forgot to... I think I have a marker in the plains buying for it being called Voxtown. That's Alvelio up there. That's the bridge that we built. I do want to do like another build over here. Or maybe... Sorry about that. I do want to do another build out this way. Maybe over there. Or maybe wrap like you know, a road throughout these trees over here. And then build like a farm over here maybe. I want to do like a farm build but... It is very hard to do on all of this rough terrain out here. Look how many holes there are in the terrain. It's like, you know, World War One with all of the trench, you know, well not trench, artillery, you know, blown out areas, holes. Uh, let's see. So it's like that. Hello there, horse. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I wish donkeys would spawn in this game. Because I can't find a single donkey in my game. I know donkeys do spawn in Minecraft, but you know. This way to Voxtown. 29th of September, 2022. It's almost been one month since that town got established. Okay, so I want to do like a build off in this direction. But the terrain out here is not very nice. Maybe over here could be a good build area. Yeah, let's see. But I kind of want to connect everything up. Like, I want to connect builds. But the problem is I can't connect builds because they're never really close to each other. Because, look at this. This is a uh, Mass Halden, also known as Village 1. There's its uh, ocean rig. And it's not connected to Village 2. That I've yet to actually work on. I actually still need to do work on Village 2. Problem is there's Ravine here. I think that's a Ravine either. That is a cave. Ginormous cave over here. Cave here. Basically, Village 2 is taken over by cave, so I need to fill all that in. Oh yeah, I did actually have a new build idea for Village 2 that I actually saw of not that long ago. Either that, I was also going to do, like... I want to do three harbours, right? I want to harbour over here to this land. Also, you can see this bridge over here that I did not actually... Well, I did build it, but, you know, I've not actually done anything with it. Uh, and over here we have Village 2. I want to do like a harbour over here or maybe on one of these islands over here. Like have it come, you know, around this island maybe. Something like that. Yeah, that could work, I think. And then there's our 150 block wide project. The dirt is different because uh, it's desert out here and the dirt turns into savannah. Uh, let's see. So back to the thing. I want to connect up my build projects, but the problem is my build projects are always so far away from each other that I can't actually, you know, connect them all. Hmm. Does that connect up around there? And then again there. Hmm. I want to do like a factory build, right? Like Voxtown and Log Log Town are the, both the closest two cities to each other. Well, both two towns to each other. That's like the closest two town builds I've ever made. And then we have Mass Halden out this way. Hmm. I'm probably going to talk, you know, quite a bit here. I do apologise. <laughs> uh, let's see. I did want to actually uh, do like tiny bridges that, you know, are made. Like, I don't know how I described. I want to make like hay bale bridges that are just a single block long. I want to connect a bunch of these islands and all that together. And you're probably wondering, why do I want to do that? I just want to connect up my land a little bit more. Even though it probably won't even look too nice. Also, if you're wondering why this looks like a turtle, I don't know why. It just spawned like this in my terrain. It looks like, you know, a snapping turtle or something. Like this is the head of the turtle over here. And then that's the jaw of the turtle there. Okay, well, enough of, you know, looking at the terrain. It uh, looks like a person, you know, walking this way. Hand there, hand over here, face up here, long hair out that way. And the face over there. It doesn't look too, too right. Okay. <sighs> okay, back to what I wanted to talk about. So, I want to do a build project, right? 
bot our box town and log town log log town are all you know quite far away from each other but this is like the closest two towns I've ever had and I want to try and keep with this thing but I would have to blow up this area right here blow up that connect it all up hmm so I could sail down to these over here and I could connect up with that and then if I wanted to I could make a yeah, I guess I could cut a bit of this terrain away we can do like a water area and you know drain out all of this or you know cut out all of the terrain and then put water in there like it was supposed to generate like but then the land is fused together ah and then that should I think that's where the river stops either that there's like a thin little bit that it's supposed to go around here I'm hoping that I might connect up with that but then that kind of gets shortened I'm hopefully, hopefully this makes sense. I, I want to connect up my terrain and the closest area that I want to build in is either here or here. There is quite a lot of holes around here but I can just fill them up there. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I wanted it to be like a tiger biome. Eh? Tiger. Uh, I guess this could be where... Okay, so I might as well explain the build that I want to do. So I have a bunch of build ideas, and one of the recent ones was a log mill. And I want to do it with the dark oak trees, and you know, with the oak trees over here. Also, this is uh, the slower forest over here. I totally forgot that I had one over this direction. I remember I had one... Uh, uh, where is it? It's up here, right? Yeah, I think this was what I thought was the... Uh... Where's the slower biome? Either that I'm thinking to another series of... Uh... What do you call it? Jungle Paradise. Another season. I think I might actually be. But you know our world has grown quite a bit. Uh... I do want to do once in the future. Like, once in the future. Like, once, one day in the future. I want to actually go and explore a lot of this land out here. Just so I would have more areas to build. Because I want to actually, you know, keep on building cities with different themes and all that. And I have many ideas, eh? But, uh, just trying to get the perfect city idea is sometimes quite hard. Eh, uh, let's see. And I want to try and connect up a lot of the land as possible so I could, you know, if I wanted to take a stroll from you know one side of the world to the other you know that would actually be a pretty cool idea eh? walking this entire landscape eh? and just visiting all the you know builds all across my world sailing across this water you know go visit builds that will be somewhere off in this, this direction eh, let's see maybe something off in that direction something over here who knows maybe that might uh, be something who knows probably won't keep it in there uh... construction portal There we go. Then I need to go back to desert. Village one. And go back a bunch. And then again. You know, it's actually much easier to go backwards. There we go. Also, if you don't know what TW is, it's basically my 
you know, not really needed waypoint area. But I'll keep that in mind. I want to do something out that way. Eh, I'll see. Okay. I might as well get to what I want to do today because, you know, if I don't, you know, I'm not going to get what I want done today. Uh, do I have TNT? I have a few bits of TNT. Okay. We're going to head down the river. And the reason why we're heading down the river is that we're going to blow a hole through some land. Yeah, so it should not be too much. Either that I could just dig it out. Ah, it's not too much, actually. Yeah, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Where am I? Yeah, it's not too far. I, I totally forgot that there was... I feel like there was supposed to be a river... Yeah, there is supposed to be a river that connects around. And around. That would connect up all the way up to that. That's what I should really do. I should go on a little bit of a you know, mining spree and mine out all of that. Also, if you've not uh, been here for quite a long time, I do want to say something before I get on with what I want to do. I have done actually uh, water uh, river projects before. And it was actually clearing out a lot of the rivers that you can see right now. I've cleared out many of these. You can actually start to see you know, where the terrain was broke down to. That's like the top level of the water. Uh, let's see. And it just slowly goes all the way down. And all the way down. Because I went all the way down here. Just so I could connect up with uh, the mushroom island down here. Because I didn't really have much connected. Apart from uh, some mountains out that way. Okay. Well I'm getting distracted now. And we need to get all of this done today. Well a little bit of all this done. Uh, let's see. I don't actually need to do the build today. I just need to mine out where it actually it's going to be. Uh, let's see. Also, I do need to set up, you know, stuff for Halloween there. We need to make a Halloween episode. I think I actually make a Halloween episode early because I have stuff planned for Halloween, so I won't be able to make any episodes. Uh, let's see. But I'll probably pre-record a bunch of stuff now. Uh, there we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Take some of that away. There we go. That makes it look a little bit more realistic, apart from me you know, not being realistic. And that's the river done. Actually, so I would need TNT for this one. I need TNT coming up because that's a thick one coming up ahead, right? Actually, no. It's not actually. It's quite leveled out already. And all I need to do is just clear that bit of land on the other side. And then break all of that. I feel like this would be where I need the TNT, right? Like somewhere up here. And then over here. And then over here. Somewhere like that. I will blow it in a second before... Uh, we get too far ahead, but I do want to take out this one before we get on to blowing up stuff. Uh, let's see. No, do I get a bit of hope? So it's a win win. There we go. It should be able to sail down. Eh? That's the main objective. Always make sure you're able to sail down your rivers. I actually have to shove some of this stuff. Why did I carry the tire pumpkin up here? Uh, okay, grab my dirt shulker box and also grab my other 
stuff and put it there. And just chuck all of that in there for now. That, that can go in my other backpack. And the string can go in that backpack. You know, I have to do three different stuff to, you know, store, you know, a few items. Okay, let's see. Let's see, so I'll have to bring that out a bit more. One more. Oh, not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, I can remove my axe for a second. Oh, I can just put it there. Oh, not too bad, actually. It's usually our simple river over here. Nothing too much to it. Also, I did not realise all the pumpkins up there. Uh, you know what? I feel like giving this river a name. And I know just what I want to call it. Uh, let's see. Wait for it. There we go. Pumpkin River. I don't know if that's how you spell Pumpkin River. 24. 08. Slash. 08? No. It's 10. Slash 2022. Pumpkin River. There we go. Not a bad name. You know, it actually quite spits. So oh, that would not be too bad. But now it's a fun time to actually blow up a bit of the river. There's also a dragon slide there. I do apologize, dragonfly, but you might get blown up today. Fire in the hole! Maybe I used a bit too much TNT. Yeah, maybe a bit too much. Uh, let's see. Not too bad, actually. Uh, what are we doing this, right? Now, yeah, what are we doing this? Well, I need to re-raise the river back to where it was before. So somewhere around that is where it's supposed to be. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Also turning dark, so that means mobs are gonna start coming out soon. So I want to actually light up a little bit of the river. Oh no, God no!
Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, grab some water. And start digging through this mountain spit here. Not bad at all. I didn't actually really light up the river too much there. So I'll head down the river and then a few torches there and there. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Make that into that. I know I have some there. I'll also make that into that. And put that away. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Not too bad. Okay. Twelve of that. That's forty-eight. Picked up the Spuda. Get out of your Spuda. Okay. Well, that should do for the river. Well, not not for the episode, but you know. That should do for the lighting up the river. That's what I should say. Now we must dive. We This is actually a quite simple one over here. I got poisoned by a stingray. I didn't even need to know, but I knew, you know, by heart that I was stung by a stingray. bad not too bad at all we're actually getting quite close to the you know new land that is actually quite creepy it looks like a ghost actually I'll, I'll see you back because I really need to light up this river yeah we'll see it's better to light up you know the river and you'll know, sail through it than you know sail through a dark river lighting it up there we go There we go, that should work. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Like in the look of this river. Not that creeper though. You know, that zombie had the perfect opportunity to hit me there and messed it up. You know what, I'll leave it at this area, and then when it becomes a normal river again... This is actually quite beautiful. I've got to say, that is one beautiful mountain. All the little edges in it, you know. I could like make a little path up there, connect it over to that cave over there. Not a bad area. Yeah, let's see. 
You always see like bits and you know stuff all throughout Jungle Paradise that you really want to build in, but you can't really build in because you already have a house. Uh, you know, so it's like a struggle between you know, do I stay with my normal house or do I go to a new house? Yeah, I'll see. I'll probably stay with my you know normal house. There's a Death Star right there. It's funny that that's the moon now. <laughs> uh, I accidentally went the wrong way, so I'm just gonna walk over land for a second. Well, smallest route over. You know what, I'll, I'll light it up. So it's like, you know, a shortcut route that I can take. There we go. Picked up some lilac there. There we go. Back to the river lighting up. I'll keep the lilac on me and then I'll place it back uh, where we're going to settle down. Okay, make some wood into that. Turn it all into sticks. We're almost at the new land. I can taste a new build coming on. Well, I can't really, but yeah. I can smell a new build. That's that is better. The better scene. And I knew there would be a little bit of land that I would have to repair here. Just knew that there would be some bit of land. Well, we just have a little bit more of this river to take out. You know, we went from building, you know, a good friend, a house, to, you know, mining out a river. Uh, such a transition. Uh, let's see. Well, hopefully I don't have to... Oop, I forgot to light it up. Got distracted with, you know, this bit over here. That's actually a very nice area. It reminds me of old Minecraft generation for some reason. Or old Pixelmon series that I remember. And da -da -da -da. That's an ogre in my field that I want. Oh, that is a rare drop right there. Wait one second. That is, that has never dropped for me in all of my Minecraft Jungle Paradise history. It is a creeper head. Uh, well, maybe it has dropped. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that has actually been the first time that that's ever dropped. Uh, let's see. And now, for this bit over here... Break this bit here. And I'll make a path going up that way. Uh, I'd have to break that a second. This is the honorary slower of uh, this new land that we have. What should we call this new land? Eh? Hmm. I know that I want to build a log mill around here. Ow. 
There we go. Hmm. Actually, I think I might break that one more bit back. there and not to go there I can just keep keep having to move this one slower there that should be the final spot that's slower yeah, not too bad actually not too bad at all and then a uh, bit of that there Make a path going up that way, right? And make a crafting table, our first crafting table in this land. You know what? I've actually maybe been here before. I think I might have actually. Wait, I think I crossed this a long time ago on my. Well, I was about to say dodo, but that's not right. It's my chocobo. Uh, from a long time ago. I think that's the only time that I've ever been here. That explains why. There's a mob that should be not alive the now, it should be dying from the sun. Uh, let's see. need some more oak wood. Definitely not breaking down the tree just for a little bit of oak wood. Gotta turn that into sticks. I'll uh, shove that in there. That, that can go there and that can go there for a second. Just break that. You know what, I wanted this to look a little bit nicer. I want it to be like you're entering a new land over here. Hmm. Maybe just turn it all into that and then all into planks. bit the final bit before the new land it's actually quite ugly maybe I should have went by staircases you know what break this a second the reset in it we we're getting so close there for a perfect staircase but I don't have I don't like how it looks There we go, breaking all of the stuff that I just placed. There we go, not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, I can go like that, right? that and break all of that Oh, not too bad, not too bad at all. 
have said that quite a lot, I do apologize. It's just, you know, my, you know, how would you say it? Most, most used, uh, phrase. Hmm. Yeah, that should work. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. There might as well. Oh, did not mean to place that there. I'll probably just make it go up like here. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. It is not a very nice looking, I would definitely say. Maybe I should uh, detail it in the future. I'll uh, see. Very upset that this is not, you know, looked the way that I wanted it to look. Too bad. Too bad actually. Okay. Well, I need to shove all this in a bag. I mean, a bag, a shulker box. Okay, shove all of that in there. And then go pick up all of this. Plus, this does not look too nice actually. That looks a little bit better, I would definitely say so. Also, I feel like I might actually break this down again. I know I've broken it down twice, I do apologize. Maybe I should break it down a little bit higher up next. Could actually grab some stone bricks, right? Could actually surround this entire thing with stone bricks. A method that I've already used before, but yeah, I'll use it again.
There we go, not too bad, not too bad at all. Looks a bit more fancier now, right? The only light around here is these uh, torches. Hopefully the rain is not lagging the game right now. I would say that's not bad. Uh, put that back in there. Uh, I'm thinking maybe just dirt and the same what we did over there, but over there. Gonna shorten in the... I saw my head up, not seen a mob in a little while. Let's get rid of that. I thought that was all full blocks right there. Hmm. I really hate that. I can't come up with a good idea that I really like around here, right? Hmm. Like, I like that area, right? I just can't get to look nice. Like I wanted to look like. See that creeper there? There we go. Spends that in the backpack. It's very weird that I got a creeper head. Pretty sure I can only get a creeper head of the, you know. It's a charge creeper, but for some reason I did not have to get a charge creeper. So, uh, I'm wondering why. There's a manticore over there. He's trying to, you know, gang up on me here. Uh, what if I just destroyed that? Give it old school feel. Having dirt in between. Can get up there. Eh, I think that would work. Oh, scrapper. There we go. Now, what did this scrapper drop? Power 5. I don't actually need power 5. Uh, if only I could, you know, pave all of this dirt around here. Actually. I can't actually pave it, but I can grab it. Oop. Did not mean to do that. There we go. So that should all spread grass at some point, all the way across all of this. Uh, it's not really, I don't really like it too much, right? 
As of that, I would uh, put a lot of a. Uh, how would you describe it? I would put a bunch of this over here, right? There's something moving very fast. Ow. Died to my forens on my armor. I really need to repair my chest plate at some point. Eh, uh, we'll see. I was actually looking out looking up how uh, you can repair your armor. And I found out that this armor can't actually be repaired because it's a uh, well I can't put it in the washing machine, obviously. It's the washing machine you know, only repairs vanilla stuff from the Vanilla mods, or well, vanilla, you know, stuff. Uh, I'll see. And the only way, way to repair rainbow armor instead of the crayfish furniture mod washing machine is by actually mending. That's the only way that you can repair my armor is by mending and then, uh. Ah, okay. So, I might as well just simplify what I was trying to say because I need to go fix all this up. Okay, so. There's only one way to repair my armor and that's by mending. I can't repair it by using the material used to make the armor. I maybe could uh, combine it with another piece of my armor. If I made, you know, a fresh set. But that would cost, you know, quite a lot. Uh, let's see. I'm going to actually light this up now, as it's a bit too dangerous, would I say. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. You can actually start to see where I want to actually do some slowers. This is our main slower in the slower garden. The lilacs. Actually, you know what? I actually have a lot of these. If I turn that all into bone meal, right? And then that all into bone meal. I can duplicate all of this into, you know, more flowers. And then I can grab this. And every single block will be lilac. Go. I need more. I need more. Drop one more bone in there. There we go. 36 more. The original one shall be marked with the two flowers and then a grass block behind it. It's not actually that bad, actually. I quite enjoy the look of this area. barely see anything now. It's all lilac. Uh, now the original one's just right there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Give me four of these. Turn it all into that. Four is about all we need. This one lilac produces all of its children around it. 
I think it's actually quite nice. the area is completed. Let me look down on the map. There's one right there. The map helps out but oh wait there's two right here that should do. There we go. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. That should leave just the two flowers there. It's all lilac. It is basically all lilac. It's a lilac area. Oh, not too bad actually. I really enjoy the green and the. It's quite bright, isn't it? Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I would really love a different wood color around here. Maybe some dark oak. Some, uh. Maybe I could do dark oak slabs. Place that there. How does that look? I think that turned out pretty good. Let's go check it. I have to go this way because the other side is now, you know, full of lilac. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Eh. And place that there. Place that there. Place that there. There we go, not too bad. Eh. Uh, maybe I should do like some coarse dirt around here, right? Really. Does that look nice enough? That should work. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Kinda makes it a little bit nicer. Uh, okay, I might as well ask what should I do for this path in there? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I wanted to do wood, but then wood doesn't look too nice. Maybe I should do cobble, eh? What would cobble look? Getting a bit too old school, I think. Eh, not, not really to my liking. If I had more coarse dirt, maybe. I do apologise if this episode's a bit longer than usual. Okay. There's 28 to do better, I think. So. There we go. Ah, 
know how would that look. I think that would look quite nice. Hmm. I think that makes it look a little bit nicer, right? A little bit of grainy dirt with, you know, some normal dirt. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Well, this isn't supposed to be, you know, a proper city, but, you know, it'd be a nice area for the log mill in the future. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. Have a nice day, see you. Hope apple, maybe even some rushes. Need to keep busy vitamins, very, very important. Bye-bye, see you next time. Have a nice day, see you. Bye-bye.